Hello and welcome to the TES Secondary Maths Resource of the Week number 32 with me Craig Barn. Now something completely different this week because over the last couple of weeks we've been getting a bit of bogged down with GCSE preparation and revision resources so let's have a break away from that because this is an absolutely wonderful resource. I mean straight away the name's hooked me in Isometric Gnomes Homes. It's been kindly uploaded by Fenners13 who uh, has uploaded some wonderful resources in the past and I strongly suggest checking out their profile. And this activity is so simple but so, so lovely. My year sevens absolutely adored it. And it leads itself into so much more rich discussion and, and potential. So let's take a look at it. It is uh, on a Word document here, and it just simply looks like this. Gnome's Homes. A gnome's home is made out of five cubes, and the students are challenged to design eight different houses. <clears throat> and then there's costs associated with each of the houses that they need to calculate. And here's a very, very helpful example. So if you build that one out of the uh, five cubes, then that's, uh, you've got four bricks um, on the first story, so that's gonna cost you 40 quid. One on the second story, so that's gonna cost you 20 quid. Total cost for that house is 60 pounds. Now, if we think about the basic skills that are gonna be involved here, firstly, students have got to do a fair bit of thinking to try and come up with eight different houses, and that lends itself quite nicely to discussing things like what actually makes a house different from another house. Um, and if a house is just a rotation or a reflection of another one, are they fundamentally different or not? And then, of course, we've got something that I'm absolutely useless at, and that's the whole uh, notion of sketching um, on isometric paper 3D images. And sh I certainly need practice on that, and uh, students do as well. And this is a really nice way of leading into that as well. And then we've got the simple concept of uh, kind of calculating how much these homes cost, which is essentially um, a formula, and it gets them kids practicing their multiplication, but also their interpretation skills and all that kind of stuff. But to leave this activity there will be a bit of a crime, I think. And I did this with my year seven group and I've got the loveliest year seven group in the world and they're ready for any any challenge. And I gave them this and I said to them at the end, right, what, what could we do now? And some students then wanted to, to up it to six cubes and seven cubes. And I said, what will be appropriate formulas for that and all that kind of stuff. Um, some students wanted to work out what's the cheapest house to build, what's the most expensive house to build. Uh, could, can you build a house that costs £80? Are there any amounts of uh, cost for houses that you cannot build with these particular cubes? Um, then one student wanted to, to, to suggest that if you had a house that had a brick that was completely covered up so you couldn't see any of the sizes, then that, that shouldn't cost you anything. Um, so how much should houses cost uh, included with those kind of bricks involved? And it's just lovely because once you've got this kind of first bit of the activity out of the way, there's so much scope to do other things with it as well. And it was just a lovely, lovely activity that my year sevens really, really liked. So as I say, just for use, just for practicing doing isometric uh, drawings um, in a more engaging way, it's absolutely brilliant. But then you've got massive potential to add loads of extra stuff on there. And we were building villages for gnomes and, and shopping centers and all sorts by the end of it. And the kids are having a great time and learning a load of maths along the way as well. So there it is, isometric gnomes homes, and um, perhaps not even just for year sevens as well. Like year 11s have to draw an isometric paper these days as well, so why, why not adapt the activity for them? Perhaps make the algebraic formula a little bit more complicated for counting the costs and all that kind of thing. Something based on the number of sides that you can see or the number of vertices you can see, something like that. There's massive potential. Uh, can I ask if you do come up with, uh, with any interesting ideas for using this, just share them on the comments section below on this uh, resource of the week page and that'd be absolutely fantastic. And thank you once again for, for Fenners13 for, for kindly uploading this wonderful activity. And I shall return with a fresh resource of the week next week. Take care and bye for now.